Can you do something good and not tell anybody about it? I want you to think about that for a moment and we'll come back and we'll discuss that. You've had time to think about it? Great. So let's talk about altruism. And altruism is a selfless concern for others. It is the unselfish act. So my point is, can you do good things and not post it on social media? And if I'm doing something good for someone else, do I have to talk about it? Do I have to say things like, I went out and did this thing today and so should you? That's not really altruistic because that's a little selfish, isn't it? I want you to ask yourself, is that really altruism? Are you doing good to do good? Or are you doing good because you want other people to know that you're doing good? Like you want to be a good person and then you have to post on social media that you're being a good person. And I think that's a little odd. Because if you think about driving a car and you don't speed, you don't get a ticket. But you also don't get like a little trophy at the end of the year that says, congratulations, you stay the speed limit. Or you do, uh, you don't, you know, get into fights or you don't commit any crimes. You don't burn down any buildings. And the police don't come to you later and give you a little trophy that says, thank you for not committing crime, right? You just don't commit crime. So if we do good things, are we expecting a reward by posting on social media? I think some people are, and I think you have friends like that too, or you might know someone that does. In fact, you might see celebrities go out and do things, and then you see them, and they have makeup on, and they're having their picture taken, you know, or movie stars that you know, have to have their picture taken when they're doing good things, and then as soon as the camera stops rolling, they book it. They're out of there. But on the flip side of the conversation, if seeing someone do something good also inspires you to do good, then does that work out? I think maybe that would only work out. Now you tell me what you think, right? So if someone, you saw a picture of someone do good and then you went and did that same thing. Like you say, oh, someone's picking up garbage. I think I'm gonna go pick up garbage too. But then if you start sharing your picture to other people says, look, I also picked up garbage. How does that make you look? Does that make you look like, look at this guy telling me how good you are picking up garbage on the side of the street? Does that also make you a good person or a bad person? Well, that's an ethical dilemma, right? How can we use social media responsibly? How can we say, I want to do good things for others? If you're able to do good things and not share them on social media, is it less enjoyable or more enjoyable and why? Leave the comments below. Tell me what you think. For example, when I was a kid, we went out, we went to the beach, we went to the mall, we did all these things, and there wasn't social media. Uh, no one brought a camera because first there were no digital cameras. Secondly, no one would want to bring like a Polaroid or anything, right? I I'm old. So we just went out and we had a good time and all those memories are in my head and all those memories are in my friend's heads. Like we remember things differently, of course, but those memories are locked away and, and, I, and I can remember them. And so do we need... Why do we need to post things on social media to say, this is what I did? That's a, that's a pretty thought-provoking question. What is social media's role in our lives? It's up to you. Figure it out. Leave your comments below. Let's see what you have to say. Talk to you later.